Diabetes. Diabetes. It was first discovered over 3,000 years ago, just before the invention of the Twinkie. Diabetes has two types, type 1 or juvenile diabetes, and type 2 or sugar diabetes. The one that is preventable, the one any of us can get, is type 2. It occurs when your body stops producing insulin, or it can't properly use the insulin it's creating. It means the body can't break down the sugar it's making, which is terrible because if you haven't noticed, we eat a lot of sugar. So what happens is a bunch of small symptoms start to pile up. You get thirsty, vision gets blurry, there's a feeling of tingling in the hands or feet. Then over time, these minor problems can turn into bigger ones, like high blood pressure, stroke, kidney failure, gangrene, or blindness. Yes, blindness. This is all very alarming, especially since you are at much higher risk for dying of diabetes than, say, breast cancer because people are far more likely to get shamed for having diabetes than get supported. It turns out, just by being African American or Hispanic means you can have a 50% higher chance of having diabetes. And despite all of the outrage over obesity, we are still bombarded with food choices that just accelerate the problem, which can just lead to a costlier crash later. But with support, Statistics can be reversed, even if you already have diabetes. Reducing how much you eat and what you eat matters. Getting out, exercising, even just walking can change the course of the disease. And unlike so many other diseases, by changing your lifestyle, type 2 diabetes can have a happy ending, and even something medicine rarely achieves. Imagine that. Hello, I'm Dr. Kimberly Dawn Wisdom. A person can be affected by diabetes for 10 years and not even know it. It puts that person at risk of developing tremendous complications such as lower extremity amputation, blindness, and significant heart disease. However, those complications are entirely preventable with proper nutrition, physical activity, and the appropriate medication prescribed by your doctor. Remember, develop a partnership with your doctor or healthcare provider along your wellness journey. And most of all, be mindful and live well.